Now today, cloud technology and Internet of Things have been a crucial part in modern life. Where to learn and how to master our skill is the central question. Our channel is created to share the knowledge and support learning with Google Cloud Technology and Certification Examination, and so much more. Hello everyone, today I would like to walk you through the helicopter reading niche, one of the new use case got published by Google since the 1st of May 2021. It shares the same problem statement like the other, that the case study is really long and on a high level, making it so difficult to understand and remember. And of course there are no time during the exam for you to read. So what do we do? We will help you to understand and remember the use case by modeling the diagram as well as show you what could be the most important area aspect in the architect picture and finally show you what can be learned and what could be the question when we ask for this use case. So let's get us started. If you go to the description published by Google on the company overview, you can understand what could be the business that the company performing. However, I would like to highlight only the last sentence that the company offer the paid service to stream the rate all over the world and prediction throughout its rate. So for streaming, it's related to data processing and for prediction, it's related to machine learning. For SE diagram, I have divided into three parts. Number one, the company is public cloud first company. What does that mean? That means that from day one, the company already viewing their system on one of the public cloud. This is different from the other use case that we have known, like Terrapus or Healthcare, where they made themselves on on-prem and they are designed to migrate from the, the system from on-prem to ZCP. But here, Helicopter, and they already viewing them on one of the public cloud, there will be the need to migrate their system from this public cloud to ZCP. There also the enterprise great connectivity to connect their data center to cloud as well. So what could be their data center? The data center is fitting in this truck with the so-called truck mounted mobile data center. This truck is played on the racing play to capture the data and then forward the data to cloud. So what else can be drawn in this at E? The video recording and the editing um, system based on the local compute, also on the data center. Then forwarding the data to cloud. Further information. The exceeding content is stored on the object storage in cloud. The video encoding and child coding is also performed on the VM in cloud and the ray prediction are performed on the tensor flow. This is the machine learning product on the VM as well. So how can we map this to the business requirement? Here is a picture of how this existing public cloud can be migrated to CCP. Before going to the business and technical requirement, Please remember, each of the product here should be migrated to VCB as well. So for object storage, it should be migrated to cloud storage. VM should be migrated. There are no mention about the serverless or about the containers. Uh, container, sorry. Then the VM should be the best choice to reduce the migrate complexity. And please remember the use of managed instant group for managed of this VM. And of course, this VM can host further video encoding and transcoding as it would, as it used to be hosted in the VM before. For the machine learning, it can be migrated to TensorFlow one-to-one -one as before. However, in VCP, there would be multiple products for machine learning, like cloud machine learning, or the other product for one of the specific use. And in this case, I can relate it to Cloud Video Intelligent API, for example. So, going to business requirement one, support the ability to explore predict model to partner or requirement eight to create the merchandising revenue stream, both of them related to the data 
giving to the partner the outcome of the machine learning. So this model should be exported via API with the cloud endpoint. Requirement 2. To increase predictive capability during or before race. This all related to data ingression, storage, and processing. So there are three points we'll mention in there. The racing results should be based on the historical data before the race or real-time status during the retrack. Second, the mechanical failure from the sensor. So before and during the race is related to the Internet of Things, the sensor, which is inside this helicopter. We can send the time series data to cloud and the use of the table would be required. The cloud sentiment from user session data during or comment before we can use data store or file store to store this data. This also related to requirement for management fan engagement with new production as well. Next, requirement three, increase telemetry and create additional insight. This related to the data analytics, so BigQuery is related. Five, increase the number of concurrent viewers. Please remember, during the live session, the number of you viewers could be increased suddenly, so the auto scale should be needed. Six, Minimize the operational complexity. Please use serverless and manage service where possible. 7. Ensure compliance with regulation. This is quite a general requirement, so we can think of all the best practice um, associated with that, and some examples can be mentioned, like the use of cloud IAM or cloud logging. Now moving to the technical requirement. Maintain or increase prediction throughput and accuracy. This referring the use of machine learning. The machine learning model should be improved during in, um, various iterations of development and testing. Technical requirement to reduce viewer latency. So the use of multi-regional uh, bucket, cloud CDN for catching data. 3. Increase transcoding performance. So this refers to the use of transcoder API. 4. Create real-time analytics of viewer consumption pattern and engagement. So data analytics of BigQuery or the presentation in Data Studio could be required. 5. Create data smart. Sorry, create data map or enable processing large volume of ray data. Of course, the use of data mass. Data mass is the subset of the data which uh, they group the data with similarity together. So different from data warehouse, it would improve the performance. More information about data mass can be found in the official document of Google. By uh, mentioning that, I would like to share with you some further documentation on Google under cloud.google.com slash architecture view a data lake on CCP. I would like to show you one of the pictures which really close to that use case. On the left hand side, you can see the sort of different um, area. For example, the sensor on the helicopter to transfer the streaming data, the time series data. On prem, it could be the video that capture under the stock mounted data center. User activity related to the comment or the prediction from user. So the data can be sent by streaming processing to cloud PubSub for messaging or cloud data flow for processing or by batch transfer to cloud storage. And here cloud storage can be used at data lake. It can use also data lab or data prep for data preparation and cleanup. From here, the data can be divided into different data maps, grouping the similar data together for better processing and machine learning uh, later on. 
Finally, the data will be transferred for machine learning training using Cloud Data Lab or Machine Learning Engine and save the data for prediction. Finally, it would be accepted by user. Further information, which also useful and related to that use case, is about the real-time analytic. Here again, the real-time data transferred to Cloud Pubsub for messaging and data flow for processing can be stored again to Cloud Storage and can be transferred to Cloud Bigtable or BigQuery for analytics, of course, depending on exact requirement, then the product can be selected. Finally, it can be accessed by user or showing the dashboard, like the order of the helicopter, which could be winning. And for the machine learning, again, the data got picked up from cloud storage, goes to one of the product, could be data prop, prep, or data flow, depending on the purpose, sent to machine learning engine. The machine learning engine will have to set up some order for training and send the prediction again to other system or user. So, finally, you will see that could be the model of helicopter racing leech. After the migration got complete, then the data should be sent directly to VCE instead of the current cloud. Finally, I would like to show you one of the questions which could be asked for that use case. The same structure on the left hand side is the question, on the right hand side is the use case. But don't bother to read it because you will not, never have time during the exam. So the question is, you have 10 terabyte data to upload in another cloud, sorry, from another cloud or on-prem storage to Google Cloud Storage. Why the bandwidth on interconnect is only one gigabyte per second? What should you do? Using cloud transfer appliance, using VS until hyphen M, using cloud storage transfer service, or using VS until. So the answer here is cloud transfer appliance. Please remember for all the data transfer that more than 10 terabytes, then we have only one choice, cloud transfer appliance. So I have finished to present the USK helicopter racing niche. I hope that it could be useful to you. Then please have to like, subscribe or share to anyone who would be interested. Thank you very much.